Hi guys, this is Deb and welcome back to this course on Windows 10. We're going to spend the next couple of modules looking at user accounts. And in this particular module, we're going to concentrate on family accounts. So we're going to start out by taking a look at family accounts and then we're going to walk through children's accounts. Now, I'm logged into my PC as myself, and if you remember, I have a Microsoft account. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up fictitious family members with fake email addresses in this demo. Now, in Windows 10, the management of family users is a very powerful feature. So first, let's go in and take a look at our user accounts. So I'm going to utilize this search bar to go to settings. I'm going to jump to the accounts section and straight down to this family and other users tab. And let's just make this window a little bit wider so we can easily see what we're doing. So you can see up here in this top section, it says family and other users, and it says add your family so everybody gets their own sign in and desktop. And you can also help kids stay safe with appropriate websites, time limits, apps, and games. And you can see underneath I have this plus symbol, which will allow me to add my first family member. Now, before I actually do that, I'm going to click on this learn more link just underneath. Now, what this does is it takes us through to an important page that explains the features of setting up a family for use on Windows 10 devices. And there's lots of really, really good, useful information here. So if you do want to set up a family on Windows 10, then this is a really, really great starting point. So as you can see here, it talks you through the entire process of how you can actually log into your Microsoft account, set up what we call a family group, and then add members of your family to that particular group. Now, it's worth noting just here in this little note box, it says your family group is a way to manage how members of your family use their Microsoft accounts. If you're just trying to add an account to your own PC, then see create a local user or admin account in Windows 10. So it's important to note the difference there between creating local accounts on your PC and creating a family group where everyone is using Microsoft accounts. So I'm going to jump back to settings and I'm going to add a family member in by clicking on add a family member. I'm going to say add a member and it says members can be children or adults. Children are safer when they have their own account. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to add a child as a member. So I'm going to click down the bottom here and, and type in the email address of the child I want to add. And click on next. It's now saying confirm that you want to add Chloe Sweeney 2000 at Outlook.com to your family group and this device. I do, so I'm going to click confirm. And you can see here it says you invited Chloe Sweeney 2000 to be added to your family group as a member. Until they accept the invitation from their email, they'll be able to log into this device without family settings applied to their account. So that's a really important point to note. So now I've added Chloe as a user, essentially as an account, she can access this PC, but any settings that I've applied to the family as a group won't apply to her account until she's accepted the invitation to be a member of that family. So what I'm gonna do now is I am going to let Chloe know that I've added her and remind her to check her email and accept the invitation. And there we go. Now that Chloe has accepted that invitation, I can now see her listed underneath here as part of my family. And you can see underneath that she is a child. And what I can do is that I can then manage my family settings online by clicking on this link. Now, once Chloe has accepted my invite to be a member of this family, when I jump into those family settings online, you can see that I have Chloe at the top there as a member of this family. I'm listed underneath as the organizer. And then you can see I have lots of different options that I can manage. So these help me control or even restrict what Chloe as a child can do. So for example, if I click on activity, 
It allows me to keep an eye on the sites that Chloe is accessing. And if I want to, I can choose to get a weekly report of all of Chloe's activity on her account. So I'm going to turn this toggle on and I'm going to say that I want weekly reports emailed to me. If I click on screen time, this is where I can help her create healthy habits when it comes to using her device and I can set screen time limits. For example, down here underneath device limits, if I turn this slider on, I can go in and I can specify how much time this particular family member, in this case Chloe, can spend using this device across each day. If I click on app and games limits, you can see here I get taken to this little wizard kind of a box and it says it's going to help me strike a balance in my child's daily life by setting up app and game limits on all of their devices across Windows, Xbox and Android. And I can walk through a wizard to set up those app and game limits. I also have links for things like content restrictions so I can set an age limit to block inappropriate apps and games. And I can even click on this drop down box and only allow apps and games that are rated for a certain age group. I can also control their spending via the spending link at the top. So for example, if I don't want Chloe just spending lots of money on downloading items from the Windows Store, or maybe she uses a game that she's purchased and that game has in-app purchases, if I want to control that to a certain extent and help Chloe shop responsibly, I can change some of the settings underneath spending in order to control that. For example, I might require her to have my approval before she can buy anything. And also if she does purchase something, I'm going to receive an email so I know exactly what it is that she's purchased. So lots of ways there as an adult that you can control what your child family member has access to. Now, when it comes to setting up more family members who might not necessarily be a child, you basically go through in exactly the same way by clicking on the add a family member button at the top here and working your way back through this wizard, selecting add a member, entering in their email address, so on and so forth. So the whole process is fairly straightforward. So that's it on family and child accounts. Please join me in the next module where we're going to go through some of the sign in options that you have. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. Now to see the full seven and a half hour Windows 10 course, click over there and click over there to watch all the videos in this Windows 10 playlist.